Good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. I thought I would do a bit of a daily vlog today because I haven't been filming for the last couple of weeks so I thought I would try and make it up to you. Today's plan is Jane and I want to make a yummy lunch. Today's video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh but that will be later in the video. We also want to go to Asda. So I made an order from Asda last week and I absolutely love everything that's in it. So I want to go to the actual shop and see what they've got going on in there. But I'm going to insert the haul that I filmed right here of all of the home stuff that I got. It's super autumn themed. So let's roll that clip. Asda is somewhere I rarely shop, but when I do, I'm always like, oh my God, that is sick. The clothes are fantastic and the homeware is fantastic. So seriously, if you need a new place to shop and you've been sleeping on Asda, I've got serious hiccups right now. So let's start off with the biggest item that I got. This is a duvet cover. It's from the Stacey Solomon range and it's adorable. It's got these little ghosties on. It's such a perfect, subtle Halloween piece of home decor. And on the other side, it's little white dots and tiny stars as well. So cute. Okay, I am obsessed with these. I got these bowls. Literally could not love them more. I'm gonna have all my soup and all my cereal out of those this autumn winter. Then I got two mugs because you know, a gal can never have two new mugs. So the first one is this, it's green. Yeah, there you go, you can see. It's a green glass mug in the shape of a pumpkin. And then this one I thought was really cool. It's a white pumpkin mug, but it's got these little green leaves leaves on. Adorable. All of this stuff was super affordable, by the way. I think the mugs were three pounds each. Don't remember any of the other stuff, but I know it wasn't that expensive. And then we have got this toadstool candle. How cute is this? Their candles smell so good too. This one is very, very spicy. It actually kind of smells more like a winter candle. It's very cinnamony, very spicy, but look, so cute. And we've got another candle. I think this is the same scent. Let me see. Oh no, it's a different scent. The toadstool one is a bit sweeter. This one's definitely a lot more spicy. But look how cute this is. Can't wait to decorate my shelves for autumn time. Then we've got this, which is one of my favorite things from this whole haul. This is a pumpkin wax burner. What do you call that? Wax melter. You put a tea light in here and then there's a scoop at the top for wax melts and it burns them and makes your house smell so nice. But look how lovely. They're all hand painted little pumpkins. And then we have this basket, which I thought was going to be a huge basket. I literally thought it was going to be like a blanket basket and that's what I was going to use it for, but it came and it's a lot smaller. However, I do really like this and I am still going to keep it because I've got my shelves over there and they're quite a big space and I want to really decorate this year and enjoy the festive times, enjoy autumn decor, then enjoy winter decor. And I think these will look really nice on my shelves and also it's storage. And then the last thing I've got, you can actually see it. It's a pumpkin, a cushion pumpkin and it's checkerboard, which is so cute. It's like a checkered beige and cream. Adorable. So yeah, as a home, I've got some incredible things right now. I will leave everything linked below if you guys want to check it out. As for right now, I'm just finishing my cup of tea, my scaredy cat Halloween mug, and then I'm going to get ready and I guess we are going to head off to Asta, see what they've got going on. Tied my hair up because before we head out, Jane and I are going to make some Hello Fresh for lunch, which is so exciting. The box has literally just arrived. I think this week I ordered some beef noodles and two vegetarian dishes which I'm really excited to try. I feel like Jane might want one of the vegetarian dishes, so let's go and see what's in the box. If you somehow don't know who HelloFresh are, they're a meal kit delivery service that deliver delicious meals right to your door. I've been guilty of overspending on takeout and random groceries that just rot in my fridge, but HelloFresh now keeps me on track with my food budget and I get to enjoy all of their pre-portioned high quality ingredients without waste. We've decided to do the stovetop goat cheese and sun-dried tomato risotto with roasted tomato parcel and rocket. It says it's going to take 35 minutes and it's one of your five a day. HelloFresh have so many different meals on offer, including vegetarian meals, so there's something for everyone. And right now, HelloFresh are offering you 60% off your first box and 20% off the next two months and free desserts for life by clicking the link in my down bar and using code Gabriella Unique. I can't recommend them enough. If you're somebody who doesn't enjoy cooking or you live a fast paced lifestyle and you find yourself with not much time to meal plan and go to the grocery store, HelloFresh is absolutely for you. So again, use the code Gabriella Unique right now to get 60% off your first box, 20% off the next two months and free desserts for life. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for your continued support and for giving my viewers such an amazing deal. Mm. Is it yummy? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so we 
I'm gonna finish our lunch. Why did I take a mouthful? This is so nice. I mm -hmm. love risotto. I'm not normally a risotto fan because I find it really sickly, but this is nice because it's tomato. No, it's nice because the tomato like mm -hmm. cuts through any sickliness. Firm nine out of 10. I feel like this video is actually just gonna be full of hauls because when we go to Asda, I'm sure I will pick up a couple of bits, but there's also a few clothing bits that I wanna show you. So let's go have a look at those. I've got all of these clothes hanging on this rack and most of them I haven't even shown you guys. So let's take a look. Okay, I don't know where to put these while I'm chatting. First up from Primark, we have got this jumper. So this was £13 and it's just a V-neck, lovely baggy jumper. I've not actually tried this one on yet, so I'm not sure what it looks like on, but I loved it on the hanger. So I grabbed that one. And I'm such a jumper girl, as you can see from this. This is a really nice jumper because it's actually a little bit thinner. So it's great for autumn rather than like full on winter when it's cold. But this is like a pinky brown shade jumper with a little bit of a turtleneck, but it rolls at the top. This one is gorgeous as well. So that was from ASOS. I will link all of them in the down bar if I can find them. Now we've got this from Marks and Spencers. I've been on the hunt for a cardigan and I love this one, but there's one thing that I don't love about it that we're going to change out. So this is the cardigan. I think it's lovely. Got this in a medium. It's £29.50. It's a really nice boxy gray cardigan with two little pockets at the front, but I hate the gold buttons on it. So mom and I went on a button hunt when I was in Sheffield and we found, let me go grab them. We found these, which are like opally white buttons with stars on. And I thought they'd look so much nicer. These were two pounds. So mom's actually going to change all the buttons on the cardigan for these. That's going to be a lot more my vibe. And then I've got this top from weekday. This is a really, really good quality oversized boxy white top with a... I've got an audience. I just turned around and mom was in the hallway like... You can watch mum if you want. So this was £18, quite expensive, but it's a super thick white t-shirt. Love how boxy it is, love the longer sleeves as well. And I love that the neck is still tight on it. This is my favourite kind of t-shirt and I'm always looking for basics like this. So love that. And then a jumper that I got from Asda that I'm also obsessed with, might actually change into this one today. So it looks so good with these trousers. So this is kind of a darker version of the colour that I'm wearing right now. Really nice and oversized, but as you can see the bottom is longer at the back which is perfect if you're wearing leggings because it covers your bum then the final thing is this skirt from marks and spencers i love this i'm gonna actually insert a clip of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like on this is the most gorgeous skirt i got it in a size 10. The only kind of annoying thing is when you walk, the tassels get a bit tangled, but if you just stop and sort them out after you finish walking, they're all right. But yeah, those are the clothing bits that I bought for autumn, winter. Now let's head off to Asda and we might have a third haul at the end of this. Who knows? There's one thing actually that I really want to show you that I haven't shown you and it is some Halloween decor. So let's go look at that first. These little marble look ghosts were from Next and mum bought me these for Halloween. Aren't they adorable? I might keep these out all year. I love a little subtle decoration, but I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, Jane, for these. Again, I'll link them below if I can find them. Let me show you my little outfit of the day because this was from Morrison's. I'm repping the supermarkets today. Ignore the fact that my phone is on this massive tripod. Look how lovely this is. So it's wide leg trousers, but they've got this pleat in them, which I think makes them look a lot more expensive. And same with the jumper. It's just got this pleat down the center. I feel like this looks very white company. Love the color of it as well. It's so nice. Little Nelly update of the day as well. He is doing okay. I think he's asleep in the bedroom right now. Let's go look. Oh, here he is. Here's my little boy. This little muffin is doing so well, aren't you? Your tooth is healing real nice. I'm doing so well, everybody. Thank you so much for your lovely messages. I know I mean a lot to everyone. Oh, it is nice to be famous. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at that boy. He's loving his life. So, shall we go to Asda? I'm excited. Let's get going. Let's see what they've got. I'm on the lookout for two cushions, actually. Let me show you this. So, I'm on the lookout for two cushions for my chairs, specifically for these two chairs right here. They're gorgeous. I got these from 
what is it called? Jusk. Super lovely chairs, but I do want some cushions for them because I don't find them particularly comfy to sit in for a long time. And I am always sat at this table. I bring my laptop here to do work rather than my desk. So I'm looking for two cushions for there. I'm also looking for a burgundy coat. I really want a burgundy coat for winter. So hopefully I might find one in Asda. And what else am I looking for? I need some vitamin C tablets. <laughs> mm, let's get going. It's also chucking it down outside, which is not the vibe. And I'm actually actually going to change into the other jumper because I like that that covers my bum and I've got big old granny pants on today. Here we go. Here's the other jumper that I'm going to wear today. As I said, I just like that it covers your little bum up. Okay, plot twist. We found an M&S. So we're heading in here first. Going to go in the cafe. There's also a Matalan, a Pets at Home, a Dunelm. So we're not just having ads today. We're having a full-on shopping day. What a treat. My microphone stopped working, but here I am saying plot twist, the cafe shut. So we're going to try and find a different cafe to have a drink in. We then went over to Dunelm. Mum says she had a nice bacon sandwich in a Dunelm cafe once. But here I am saying this Dunelm also doesn't have a cafe. So again, just two thirds thirsty gals waiting for a drink. <laughs> but I'm going to show you around Dunelm while we're in here. All of the shops have so much Christmas stuff out, which I personally love looking at. I'm not going to lie. I love looking at Christmas decor. Jane, not so much. She thinks Christmas decor shouldn't come out until like the start of December. Sound off in the comments what you guys think about that. But I love these little baubles. They were all so cute. Made it to Asda. Will they or will they not have a cafe? They've got a McDonald's, but I don't fancy McDonald's. Actually, McDonald's have a really nice donut right now. They're burnt birthday donut has got icing and sprinkles on and jam inside it's so nice comes the Halloween ghoul. Here she comes. Ooh. Ah, we are back. Oh my god, my trousers are wide like they just flew in my face. We got back from our little shopping trip and actually, surprisingly, I didn't buy anything. There was this cat mug that I really wanted, but I've got so many mugs already. And my favourite mugs are always Christmas ones, so I'm going to let myself buy some Christmas ones and not get any Halloween ones any more Halloween ones. <laughs> Mum and I are trying to figure out what to have for dinner. That risotto earlier was incredible, literally 10 out of 10. I gave it 9 out of 10 at the time. I'm giving it 10 out of 10 now because it was delicious and I keep thinking about it. So hopefully I'll keep that one on the menu because it was so good. I want to order it again. But I think what we're going to do for the rest of the night is have like a sleepover vibe. Mum goes home in the morning. So we just want to chill for the rest of the evening. Want to find something good to watch on TV. We actually just finished watching Manhunt. There's two seasons of. It's Martin Clunes and it's basically based on two true stories. One is the Night Stalker in the UK because I know there's an American Night Stalker and the other one, I don't remember the name of it, but there was another true crime in England that was about a lovely French girl who got murdered in London. That show was great. If you haven't watched it, it's on, is it on the BBC or ITV? It might be on ITV, but it was great, really good. So we need to find something new to watch tonight. Jane says Made in Chelsea might be starting fingers crossed. But if not, I think we'll probably find another like crime show. Me and Jane love our crime shows. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Yeah, trying to figure out what we're going to have for dinner. We are in pyjamas and we're going to have a little sleepover, aren't we, Jane? I want some chocolate. What's new? The kettle's boiling, but this is today's mug of choice. I was just talking about how much I like Christmas mugs. This was an anthropology one and it's been one of my favourite mugs for the last like two or three years. <laughs> I'm in a spaceship. I'm going to Mars. Off I go. I'll see you all soon. Ooh, this has turned into like a food video, but I've just made myself a little pancake with strawberries on. I think this is what I'm going to have for dinner. Looks delicious. I've got some golden syrup drizzled and then strawberries. I got such great packets of strawberries, two punnets from M&S, and I only had to throw one away. And for the last couple of weeks, I have bought strawberries because I love them. And I've had to throw like half the packet away every time. But these ones were great. They were the red diamond ones. Anyways, have you decided what we're watching? Oh, something called Night Sleeper. What's this about then? No idea. No idea. Sounds good. <laughs> 
We are one episode in to Night Sleeper. Neither of us know what's going on, but it's very good so far. They're full hour long episodes as well. I feel like nowadays a lot of shows are like 40 minutes to account for adverts, but it's the BBC. No adverts, so a full hour long episode. We're on to episode two. Who's just been having the most fuss ever on this chair? We're watching a show and it's real good. I don't know what's happening, but it's good. My prince. Oh, mummy's prince, mummy's prince. Oh, mister. He's going to roll over, I bet you. Give it 10 seconds and he'll be rolling. <laughs> what are you doing on there? You're going to roll. There he goes. <laughs> At my little nest. <laughs> Keeping my legs elevated because they're swelling loads. I'm going to have a lipedema update coming your way in November, but for right now, I've got to say they are swelling loads and I'm not sure why, but my compression is a bit too big. So I've actually ordered a size smaller in compression. Not the made to order one. They basically get you to buy a different one after you have surgery, don't they? It's like thinner. It's not as good quality and it's not as thick, but it still costs 90 pounds. <laughs> per compression but yeah i've ordered a size smaller and hopefully that will keep them from swelling as much you have made it to the end of today's vlog i feel like i'm a little bit out of touch with filming daily vlogs i'm gonna have to get better at this because i plan on filming a lot of daily vlogs in november maybe not every day but a lot more than i do now anyways thank you so much for watching this video don't forget if you would like to redeem the HelloFresh offer i'll leave all the information in the down bar and i'll see you very soon bye